Okay, a two-step stoichiometry problem is going to require two uh, fractions in our dimensional analysis or factor label method. And this is where we go from grams of one substance to moles of another substance in a reaction or moles of one substance to grams of a second substance. So, let's look at our good old friend again, H2 plus O2 goes to 2H2O. And it's already balanced for us, so that takes care of our first step. The second step is to figure out what is given and what we want. So, uh, let's say in our first one that we are given 4.04 .04 grams of hydrogen and we are wondering well, what we want is to know how many moles of water we can form from that. This reaction, this time, we need to know a molar mass. And we need to know that molar mass of H2 because I'm going to have to get rid of that mass. And I have to do that by looking at my molar mass from the periodic table. So if I look at the periodic table, I see that the mass of hydrogen is 1.01. .01, and I have two of them in H2, so it would be 1.01 .01 multiplied by 2. And that gives me 2.02 .02 grams of H2 for every 1 mole of H2. So this is the ratio that I can use, similar to the ratios that I saw before based on the balanced reaction. Now I can start putting things together. So I always start with my given. I have 4.04 .04 grams of H2. I'm going to set up my first fraction. I need to get rid of grams of H2 to get to moles of H2. So I'm going to put what I want to get rid of on the bottom, which is my mass of hydrogen, which I get from my molar mass, 2.02 .02 grams of H2 for every one mole of H2. Again, I need to make sure this entire ratio gets used right there. Well, my final part taking a look at my balanced reaction and a mole-mole ratio. So I want moles of H2O, which I see here there's two moles of H2O for every two moles of H2. So on the bottom here I'm going to put my two moles of H2 and on the top two moles of H2O. So I see that grams of H2 have canceled out because one's on top, one's on the bottom. Moles of H2 have canceled out because one's on top, one's on the bottom. And I'm left with moles of H2O, which is what I wanted. Now I just multiply everything that's on top, divide by everything that's on the bottom, and I get an answer of 2.